It has been a relief to be honest with you about my past. I appreciate your willingness to listen. But talking about this, remembering all those years, has brought back some unsettling memories. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. I have told you that I spent many years coordinating with smugglers along the edges of the settled systems. There were men and women I worked alongside closely. And over time, I established relationships. They were not of the promised, but I considered them friends. It describes the people of House Varun. We who have been promised to serve the Great Serpent now and forever. In exchange, he promises to care for us when he returns to his domain. Yes, very. It... It was not what I was expecting. You must understand. I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter. Where they are lost, their fate is fixed and grim. And yet here were these men and women with hopes and dreams, delights and aversions. It felt like a small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. And then I lost them. It was. In ways I did not understand at the time. And so it has bothered me ever since. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet to transfer cargo. And zealots appeared in force. Seemingly out of nowhere. There was barely time to react. So many were cut down immediately. I believe my years of training saved me. Got me moving when others faltered. I retreated to my ship immediately. But I left them all behind. Aaron Bascom and Jada Wong. They were my friends and I abandoned them. And in the years since, I have never looked for them. I have no doubt they were resourceful. Still, how badly were their lives damaged by that moment? In my time getting to know you, I have thought more and more of all this. A little sense it all made, how I never really knew what happened or what became of my friends. My connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone. To be there for them. And I can no longer live with not knowing. I need to finally pursue this. I would like you with me when I do. I do not know what we will find, but I know it will be easier with you at my side. Thank you. That is... I'm sorry, I am not used to someone being so considerate on my behalf. I am not sure where they might be now, but I believe we should begin the search in Aquila City. That is where I last saw Aaron Bascom.
If more and more people flock to the Free Star Collective, does that not just make it more like the United Colonies? Ah, uh, yes, Aggies. I have spent far too much time here. He is not here. I am disappointed, but relieved somehow? Nah, I sure as hell ain't my tooth. Could be an. You're right. I'm sorry. Someone here must know more. We should inquire about him. If you got credits, I'm busy. Leave me alone. You. You ain't here looking for Aaron. She is. Hello, Aggie. I was unsure whether you would remember me. It has been a long time. I ain't likely to forget you anytime soon. I don't know. You tell me. You're the one blundering in here with her in tow, asking questions. I heard you ain't deaf. She didn't ruin Aaron's life enough the first time, huh? Back for more? Ruined his life? How dare you? Did she tell you what she did to him? How she left him bleeding on some godforsaken rock in the middle of nowhere? Forgive me if I don't take you at your word. Aaron sat in that corner for years, scared of his own shadow, convinced the damned zealots were coming back to finish the job. The few credits he had to rub together that didn't get spent on drink, he spent on setting himself up someplace where they couldn't find him. Wouldn't trust anyone that walked through the door. Only ever talked to me when he was drunk enough. Look, I've seen all kinds of sad sacks over the years. Most of them brought it on themselves. He was no different. Got himself in over his head, mixed up in something he shouldn't have been. Still, not pretty to watch the slide down afterwards. Aaron ain't been in here for almost a year now. Showed up one day saying he'd gone and got himself set up on Hyla too, thanking me for letting him stay here so often. It was the closest I'd seen him to happy in I don't know how long. And that was it. Never came through the door again. Did he ever mention me? You mean, did he blame you? That's what you want to know. I know guilt when I see it. Don't try and deny it. Fine. Did he blame me? No. Believed you were one of the good ones, right up until the last time I talked to him. Me? <laughs> I don't think your kind has good ones. My kind? I know what you are. You take your holier-than-thou bullshit and your great serpent and shove them. You dare insult me like this when I have come to you asking for help. I should kill you where you stand. You are right. We should focus on finding him. Well, this has been so much fun. You see Aaron, you tell him I got a bottle of his favorite stashed away if he ever shows up again. But honestly, I'm hoping he doesn't. How can I assist? We have something to go on, at least. I am grateful that you showed some compassion. Despite that woman's attitude. I do not have your patience. And yet it is my past we are trying to clear up. That is... 
It means a lot. I am eager to reach Hyla too, and speak to Eren. Perhaps there is something we can do to help him. Provide him a sense of safety. I appreciate having your... Always a satisfying one. Yeah, We should be on our guard here. If we could detect the camp from orbit, it means others could too. And I have no idea what fortifications he may have. When we arrive, would you let me speak to him first? I think that is important right now. Thank you. From what Aggie said, it sounds like he has been... Rather paranoid for years now. That too, I fear, is my fault. <sighs> Let us proceed slowly and carefully. I do not want to antagonize him. have anything of value? Yeah. It's not the best you can do!
I thought I saw something. I need to be sure. I don't know what to say. I thought there would be a chance to speak to him. To, to make amends. Or at least to hear him curse me for leaving him. I was prepared to accept that. I did not think I would find him like this. At least these vermin didn't get him. He's been gone for... Well, clearly it's been some time. Look around. There will be correspondence from Jada Wong, I am sure of it. This cannot all be for... ...for nothing. You found something. Please, let me see it. <gasps> I should have guessed. Jada was always the one to run towards trouble. Of course she would still be doing it now. In her own way. She has been for as long as I have known her. Jada was younger than some of the other smugglers we contracted. There was concern she would be unreliable. As time went on, we called on her more and more often, eventually relying on her almost exclusively. She was sharp, a skilled pilot and very, very determined. Always talking about her big plans for retirement, how she would live like a queen. I am not surprised that she would desire revenge, but to go this far, we need to find her. But before we go, I have discovered something else. And I do not know what to make of it. Aaron was composing a reply to Jada, but never sent it. It reads as if he was expecting the Zealots to find him. That they knew where to look for him. Clearly he had become paranoid, but that does not mean he was wrong. What bothers me, though, is that he mentions a name he should not know. Tommy Sarkadik. Yes, I do. For all of my assignments in the Settled Systems, Tommy Sar has been my link to House Baroon. From him, I have received my orders, and he is the person to whom I have reported my success. He does not work with anyone outside House Baroon, and I am the only one who knows how and where to find him. Aaron should never have heard of him. It is hardly that simple. We must first make sure that Jada is safe, and perhaps she will be able to shed light on this. 
Let us head for the den. <laughs> Any adventure you can fly away from. We're not a priority for the Vanguard or the UC, but it's still space worth protecting. Haven't seen you around here before. Welcome to the den, Reyna Marquez. I head up the Vanguard station here. Good to see another Vanguard pilot. You assigned here or just passing through? Right, okay, good. Was afraid I'd gotten another transfer without any warning. Nothing against you personally, of course. I'd just like to know who I'm responsible for before they show up on my doorstep. You need anything? Say the word. Wang? Really? There are at least three other pilots based out of here I'd expect to receive complaints about first. Before we get started, I have to inform you there's a formal review process for the Vanguard, so don't expect any action for a while, okay? Now, what is the name? Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, sorry. Force of habit, I suppose. Jada isn't here. Hasn't been here in a while. In fact, she's... Well, she's following up on some sensitive information. Um... Uh... I'm not sure I should disclose any more than that. It's not something I can just blurt out. Sorry, but I can't. Maybe I can make an exception. Yeah, I hope so. I'm still willing to talk. I'm focused on zealots ever since she was assigned here, but this was a whole other level. She was headed out to Groombridge to track them down. Never seen her so fixated. And if you know Jada, that's saying something. If you're headed out that way, be careful. Wouldn't surprise me if she's getting into all kinds of trouble. Vanguard's here if you need us. Or you're playing some long game. 
You want to explain yourself? I can't stop you from coming over here. But I'm gonna be armed, and it's gonna be aimed at her head. Just so we're all clear. Shift is now docked. Perfect. How? How can you possibly show your face? I am glad to see that you are safe, Jada. I am sorry if... if this is difficult for you. Difficult? Are you serious right now? You set us up. Killed my friends, and then a decade later you show up like nothing happened? Have you lost your mind? Set you up? I... I never... I was not behind that. It was zealots, you know that. We were all attacked. Don't bullshit me. Not now. And who the hell are you? Her backup dancer? Yeah? Well, we're talking. How do you think that's going so far? What are you doing here with her? You don't look like Varun to me. Worried? Worried she hadn't finished me off, maybe. I knew it was only a matter of time. What are you talking about? I have never acted against you. You know, for a while I told myself it was a coincidence that you disappeared once the shooting started. That you were long gone when the dust settled. <sighs> Told myself, no, it couldn't possibly be her. Not after all those years we spent working together. We're friends. So I went after the Zealots. And then I found out the truth. Your damned High Council. They knew. Told the Zealots where to find us. That's not true. That cannot be true. Oh, it is. How? How do you know this? If you have proof, I need to see it right now. You don't get to demand anything of me, Andreja. I know what I've seen! I... I don't have... It doesn't work like that. I've put things together over the years. Slates, communications, interrogations. A name, Jada. Give me a name. You must have heard one by now. Thomasar! Thomasar Kadik! That's the bastard from the High Council who's been helping the Zealots! And did you hear this from Aaron? Aaron? What? No! I haven't talked to him in a year. What do you know about it? Jada, I swear on the Serpent himself, I would never betray you. I need time to make this right. Can we go somewhere and talk? I am not giving up on this. I've tracked them this far, and I'm going to see this through. You want your proof? Well, they have it. Something important or just conversation? You think you want... Just waltzing in here like nothing ever happened. Unbelievable. The two of you have got a lot of gut after all this time. That's him! That's the bastard responsible for the ambush! If you're not lying to me, then you better help me take him down. Otherwise, I'll just have to destroy you both. Get back to your ship! I, find I smile today in the knowledge that the great Why else would he have delivered unto me the dregs of our purge years ago? The awful that escaped our righteous justice. Betrayed the charge, laid upon. 
serpent sets my mind at ease. And in his name. Do not understand. It cannot be possible that the High Council would betray us like that. He must have been lying. Zealots have interpreted the teachings of Jinan Barun in the most hostile way possible, and are convinced they are the only true followers of the Great Serpent. They have always been certain in their beliefs and actions does not make them correct. Something about this does... does not feel right. This message... the code at the bottom... <sighs> I have seen this before. I know where we need to go. <sighs> I must explain. House Barun values secrecy above nearly all else. Those of us sent out into the settled systems... we cannot return. It is not just about rules. When we are assigned a mission, we are taken to a point outside of House Barun's domain. We do not jump ourselves. We are never given the coordinates for Varun Kai, our homeworld. We literally cannot return. Only a select few are ever trusted with that knowledge. I can never go home, unless I am permitted. Perhaps there is. I cannot travel to my home, but I can reach out another way. But it means putting you in danger in a way you have not been before. I cannot say for certain what will happen. Thank you. That means a great deal. There is an old derelict star station where I may get answers. I know that seems... vague. It will become clear when we arrive. say again, there is danger for you here, likely for us both.
Before we go any further, I cannot stress this enough. Keep do nothing to appear. Thank you. Please give me a moment. Works. That is how this always works. Not to me! To the zealots! To the fanatics who murdered my friend! Who tried to murder me! You must be mistaken, or perhaps confused. Nothing like that has ever happened. Enough! I have the transcripts, Tommy Star. You did this. You told them where to find us. Now, let's just take a moment. No one wants to make accusations they might regret. You. You are from that constellation group. I've heard all about you. You have turned her against me, filled her head with lies. This will not be allowed to stand. Insolence! You have corrupted her! I said enough! This is between you and me. This has gone far enough! Talk some sense into her at once! Neither of you would dare lift a finger against me, against House Varun! But I am! If you let Andrija hurt me, I am her only link to the High Council, to House Varun. Without me, she can never return home. You must make her listen to reason. He is responsible. He deserves to die. Did you not hear me? You do this, you lose everything! I heard you. I know what it costs me. But he deserves it. Does he not? I have been betrayed! Why should I care anymore? The only thing keeping him alive right now is... I know that if I do this... I lose my home. Probably forever. I do not... I do not know what to do.
So be it. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. It is good to see justice done. But... It should have been at my hand, not yours. No, of course not. The Great Serpent would surely punish me. For now, I suppose, this matter is done. I do not know if I will face punishment either, in this life or the next. I am so tired. Can we, at least for the moment, return to the Lodge? Operation complete. Thrust. Nothing else, Constellation does have excellent lodging. How are you? Thank you for coming back here with me. I fear that... After all that has happened, I am unsure of my place in House Barun. This room... May now be the only place I have left to call home. It is reassuring to hear you say that, but still... I do not know how to live without some connection to House Barun. The Great Serpent has always been a guiding force in my life. The force that drives all that I do. What... What if I have lost that? Yes, that is true. Whatever else has happened or will happen, the Great Serpent still holds a purpose for me. You have been by my side through all of this, the most turbulent time in my life. And you have supported me, faithfully. I have never been able to count on any single person the way I have with you. If I am repeating myself, you will have to forgive me. I just... I cannot overstate what it means to me. 
Uh, well, that is... I am sorry. I need a moment. I admit this is a surprise. I did not quite realize you felt this way about me. But... If you mean it... My feelings are not so different from yours. We must be clear on one thing from the very beginning. I do not share. If you are mine, then you are mine alone. No one else will come between us. If that is not a commitment you are willing to make, I understand, but I will not compromise. Then truly nothing can stop us. We will be a force to be reckoned with. You have brought a joy to my life that I could not have imagined, and could never have expected. With you at my side, love, I look forward to everything that comes next.